Well, with you from NFL Live, Coach Jack Del Rio, Marcus Spears, Dan Orlovsky, I'm Wendy Nix. The Bears came into this season really as favorites in their division, I would argue, or at least contenders. They are four and five. And you can point to, in large part, the struggles of their quarterback, Mitchell Trubisky. Let's just start with a simple question. What's gone on so far for the quarterback? Lack of confidence, lack of execution, and the coaches not putting him in positions to do what he does well. And th that's because – that's why number one is the lack of confidence. Because you've had a quarterback that – has never been a pocket passer. He wasn't in North Carolina. He wasn't last year when they had all their success. And they've asked him to play from the pocket a ton this year. So he doesn't have a lot of confidence in his own ability to execute the plays. And then he's struggled. So that's almost been, you know, compounded by yeah. that. And then the, the, they don't play to a strength at all. Like, he's better outside the pocket and he's better in tempo. They don't do any of that. Well, if you're Coach Matt Nagy, then, Coach, why not? Why not play with the cards you're dealt? You know he's your quarterback. You know, I would presume, You've what had he's... success with them. Well, Correct, he, I understand and that. So, and he did it last year. Right, so I mean, why that, go away from that? I, it's, you know, I'm, I'm kind of, kind of uh, questioning that myself. Why did he... I mean, I'd like to, like, have a sit-down with him and know, because I don't understand why he has, but he has. He's moved away from the comfort zone that Mitchell has, and I think it's added more pressure. He's al already the expectations. When you're taking number two overall, and there are two guys that Mahomes and, and, and Watson. Yeah, he'll forever be. You're going to have to hear all that, but the bottom line is they won 12 games last year, yeah. and I thought Coach Nagy did a tremendous job last yeah. year, and somehow they've left that script and it's like self-inflicted, and I'm just not sure why. Interesting. Sometimes in the league, it, it's almost like the more I don't know helps me. And that may be one of the cases we see in with Mitchell Trubisky and even Matt Nagy because you get this, like, I re I'll never forget when I was going into the league as a D lineman, I was just making plays. I wasn't thinking about technique, correct, correct hand placement, where I'm going to be on this. And obviously, as you grow and mature, you start to understand those facets of the game. It seems like... Matt Nagy and Ms. Trubisky is trying to stick to the book too much, right? Instead of playing complimentary football to a great defense you have and saying, Mitch, go be you. Like, I, I, and it's mind-boggling to your point, Coach. It's perplexing because Baltimore doing it. Exactly. There's examples of places that have embraced right. who their quarterback is and allowing them to shine in that moment. So if you're not going to embrace who your quarterback is, is it a fair question then to ask, do you see a scenario where he's not the quarterback? Because I, that's – they're going to land themselves in that spot if they continue to try to put I a, don't see a scenario where do Mitchell Trubisky is not on their roster, at least in a competing for the starting quarterback role next year. I don't see it becoming like that. L last week they had a little bit more success playing with some mm -hmm. tempo. They played with tempo, three straight drives. And what I mean by they were getting faster to the line of scrimmage, sometimes it was no huddle, and they went three straight drives and scored touchdowns. So last week there might have been a little bit of – Proof to Matt Nagy of your quarterback is better when he's doing this. Now, get him outside the pocket is a lot better. I don't see a situation where it goes so south that the general manager who traded up to go get him oh. moves on from him within three seasons. That, because that, the general manager then goes. Y'all going to be tired of me saying this blame. too. Y'all going to be tired of me saying this by the time the end of the year. What else did they do successfully last year? Ran the rock. Yeah, and right. now they're and not. Their tailback's drum, not there. But I not there. Why. No. Yeah. So yeah. It's, Run it's, the it's one of those situations where you had a you had a running game to compliment your quarterback, make him more comfortable. When you run the ball, your defense loves it. I'm telling you right now, from a defensive standpoint, when you chunking yards on the opposing team, psychologically, us as defenders is like, oh, we fresh? Like, that drive was three minutes, four minutes for them to get in the end zone. A lot of that is lacking in Chicago, and they all of that bodes well for Mitch Trubisky. All of it. I think your point of letting Mitch be Mitch is important, right? Because we talked about Baltimore and, and Lamar. Well, Mitchell Trubisky is not Lamar Jackson. I think that Matt Nagy's doing what he's doing because he grew up or kind of learned offense under Andy Reid when he executed it with Alex Smith, Alex who's Smith. one of the great. Yeah, but Andy Reid could audible with the best of them. Absolutely. Andy Reid has adjusted for Patrick Mahomes. Yes. Well, he's not Patrick Mahomes and he's not Lamar. But you got to find the space in between that allows yeah. Mitchell to be what he is at his best, and that's what was last year. We've seen year. the potential. We've seen it work. So you just have to wonder when they take a page out of their own past playbook and turn the corner. Mm. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.